Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and I'm a photographer based here in Warwickshire and I'm going to take my little camera out for a tour around campus. It's sunny, it's autumn, which can mean one thing, hashtag Warwick Autumn. Let's go. So once again, welcome to this short five minute introduction on the process which I undertake as a photographer to get the best images of autumn. As you can see, this is a building which is just partially in the shadow and knowing the time when the sun will be on that building to get that red wall, which is black at the moment because there's no sun on it, is vital. This is the light meter that I use to get the exposure. Your camera phone or camera will measure it through the lens and in some cases it just won't get the right exposure. This tree it says is the correct exposure but as you can see I need to overexpose it quite a lot because the sun is behind and you can really see the colours of the leaves there now. So one of the tools that photographers use is a polarising filter and we screw this onto the front and what that does is it eliminates reflective light which as you can see now once you turn the filter completely disappears and it's amazing how much reflective light can ruin a scene. Leaves are incredibly reflective, they've got that waxy film on top of them and what we do is we turn the polarising filter and that eliminates that spectrum of light. I'm always looking for anomalies where light just kind of frames a subject with a spotlight effect and here I found this tree the darkness around it really brings that tree to the foreground and what I try to do is utilize the best light I can find because this tree although it's beautiful it's red it just is it's in shadow and that light is a bluish spectrum and it just doesn't work it looks very very flat so I always try and find some kind of way of using nature's fill-in flash and as you can see here these leaves really work well. I found a lot of sculptures and street furniture on campus which I found actually would make a useful tool to frame a subject here. I'm looking through a sculpture just outside Warwick Arts Centre and it just made that that composition more interesting and here the, the shadowy leaves around the top edge of the frame and that big dark shadowy grass frames that scene perfectly. Now we don't always have to point our camera directly at a subject. I've found some reflections in these windows which show campus but also show autumn which fits in with the brief and here the straight rigid lines of that car park behind just break up that soft tree line in front of it. Now a bit like a book our eyes read a scene and they can travel around so what I've done here is I've used this pathway to lead the eye up the right hand side towards the trees and then naturally your eye comes back down the left hand side and it just creates this perfect loop of looking at a scene. So just before a shoot I know where my tree is, I know where the sun will be, what time of day to, to effectively shoot that tree and I try and get there before that just so I'm set up and ready. As you can see this tree is pretty much perfect, I love the light on the tree, the building, uh, just missed the bus <laughs> which got in the way but that tree is slowly going down it's it's late in the afternoon and as you can see the shadow on the ground is slowly rising up those long tree shadows are rising up that wall and five minutes later that tree as you can see is in darkness it's in shadow and that scene's effectively gone so don't wait around and that brings me on to the last point those leaves won't last forever don't hesitate get out there today shoot the scene that you want to shoot and have fun doing it so thanks very much for watching upload your shots to social media using the hashtag warwick autumn and i look forward to seeing the results